Recently, I was on the Avonic Facebook group, and it says for the X1 charger, there's a driver upgrade, and it guarantees safer, more optimized charging experience. So, I don't know quite what was wrong with it. Um, I did the upgrade, but I had a really difficult time with it. So I'm hoping I can save some of you guys some time if you're trying to upgrade your X1 charger. So what you need to do is if you click on the driver update, it'll bring you to where there's this RIR file and you click the button here to download it. Now the issue I was having was that I didn't have a program to unzip it. So you need to use WinZip or some other program to unzip the file. And once you have that, it'll load up on your computer. So here's the file here. And WinZip's terrible. I wish I didn't download this, but it did work for me. It's just a little frustrating. And All right, so once it's unzipped, the file is 51.9 megabytes. This is Avonic X1V 1.0.5. If you click on this, it brings you to the software. And this is what I was missing. When I was plugging in the USB cable for the Avonic charger, it would make a noise like it was connecting to the computer, but nothing would happen. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug everything and show you guys how to do this. So I have the USB cable that came with the Avonic charger. I'm gonna put that in the side. And then what you're gonna do is hold down this channel slash back button. And then I'm gonna plug in the charger. So hold the button down, then plug it in. When it starts beeping, let go and then hit upgrade on your screen and then it'll go ahead and upgrade your charger the upgrade's complete and now the charger fired up and we're good to go so yeah, Avonic did a really poor job of explaining how to do this, and I could not get them to respond to my questions on how to do it correctly. But I'll go ahead and put in the description for this video the links that Avonic included on the Facebook site. So it'll have the user manual, the directions, and it'll have a link to the driver, the RAR file that you need to extract to put the software on your computer that then allows you to upgrade the firmware in your charger. It's real simple when you have some decent directions on how to do it, but otherwise um, I wasted probably the better part of an hour trying to figure this out. All right, that's all I have for now. Low production video, but just wanted to get this out there and uh, hopefully this saves folks some time. Take care.